This is Caleb with Integrity Home Inspections. I am at 15065 Lola Lane, Milwaukee, Oregon. I already did the first part of the video, uh, but the uh, camera shut off, so I went from the clean out over there behind the uh, exterior garage man door over to actually right in the middle of the pavement there where it's been cut out. And now I'm going from this clean out, and hopefully uh, we can make it out to the city main sewer. And right here is where it looks like it drops down uh, into this sewer line. Um, so we'll see if we can make it out to the main line. So here it looks like we connect to the 3034 city lateral sewer line. I'll continue to push the camera to the city main sewer. So here it looks like uh, there's another um, more significant belly in the sewer line. Uh, you can tell there's quite a bit of standing water here. Um, so I'm just going to keep trying to make my way out to the city main line. I know I'm pushing the, the camera pretty fast, uh, but that's just so I can uh, get some momentum and hopefully make it all the way out there. Uh, the camera reel is only about 200 feet long, so... So this is as far as my camera is going to allow me to push. Um, I did see a couple other cleanouts on the way out there, uh, but it's really uh, likely that they're buried uh, and can't be, you know, found. Uh, so I'm going to pause the video, turn the water off, locate where the position is I am right now, and then um, I'll uh, 
pull back the camera and you know check those other spots to see if we can find another clean out but uh, we'll just have to see this looks like most of this water is drained from the line now um, they basically the camera got all the way up to the beginning of the driveway so there's still probably about 20 or so feet of line uh, that is uh, unable to be checked um, there is a manhole uh, in about a quarter of the way down the driveway I'd say uh, it's possible it's for uh, stormwater uh, but I would contact the city to determine if that's a stormwater drain or a sewer drain um, and if it is a sewer drain it you know it could be that you know it's possible that the city takes responsibility halfway down the driveway but it is a private drive so it's most likely uh, homeowner's responsibility all the way to the street um, at the end of the driveway. So we're going to start to pull back the camera now and continue to inspect the sewer line. So there is standing water here. I'm going to locate and mark this position, uh, see where it's located at. So this starting point is located um, uh, in the driveway about halfway down. There's a cutout section and it's just uh, being filled with con or, uh, gravel right now on the asphalt. Um, so it looks like uh, someone's about to do some repairs um, uh, in this area here um, so you can tell that the water is still uh, you know, flowing in the line here and it's not draining completely uh, technically you know sewer lines should completely drain uh, when the water is turned off inside the home so uh, I'm gonna pause the video one more time and go and locate the ending position So this is located um, still in that area where the asphalt has been cut through. Uh, now it's just filled with gravel. Um, so I marked uh, basically the, the ending and starting positions of them uh, with green paint. And they're, uh, like I said, right where the asphalt has been cut and uh, the gravel is filling it for now. So here's another clean out, so I guess I'll just pause the video, maybe see if I can find where this is located. Uh, so I'll pause the video now and locate this. So um, uh, this is, again, just located underneath asphalt, so uh, there's no, no access point to that, that clean out there.
So here's where it looks like it connects um, from that white PVC to the black ABS. And at the top, again, there looks like another access point here. So I'm going to try and locate this position. So I'll pause the video once more. So I am able to find that position right there. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just pull the camera back and then we'll end this video. And then we will um, start another one from that point um, out to hopefully the uh, city main line. So it's kind of hard to say really what this is if this was just, uh, you know, excess glue and whatnot. But in the upper left-hand portion of the screen, um, you can see kind of more of that glue. And it almost looks as if uh, the pipe has a crack right there. Uh, it's really hard to tell for sure. I mean, it kind of just looks like excess glue. Um, but there's a joint right here. So there's not going to be a joint further down right there. Um, at that, you know, funny looking thing on the left hand, upper left hand portion of the screen. Uh, so it kind of makes me think uh, the pipe is uh, maybe cracked right there. Um, so I'm going to locate and mark this position as well. So this is located on um, another section of asphalt that has been cut out at the very end of the asphalt uh, at the garage end. Um, so uh, about four feet deep and I marked it with uh, green paint there. So, you know, it's not paved over yet. It wouldn't hurt to uh, really check that joint out just because you can see here's a joint um, and you only see the one line across and then that one that looked kind of like it had an issue um, it was uh, you know this joint and then it, right after looked like there was another you know uh, break or crack right there so So this concludes the sewer scope video inspection. Uh, there were several bellies in the line still. Some of them were more minor than the others. The first one was at the clean out. 
uh, just past the walkway uh, outside the exterior garage man door. Um, and another one was up the driveway um, where uh, the asphalt had already been cut out and the PVC piping. Um, again, those are both marked with green uh, spray paint. Uh, and then also it looks like there may be a cracked pipe um, at the end uh, of this uh, cut out asphalt right here, uh, kind of where the truck is right there. Um, and that, uh, again, is marked with green paint too. So I'll put this throughout a report, an email of the report, along with video inspection to the agent and buyers. Uh, and also, actually, I'm going to go to that other clean out. So I'm going to uh, pause, end this video, and then uh, make another one.